Derek Chauvin, a former Minneapolis officer involved in the death of George Floyd, has been charged with third-degree murder and manslaughter, local authorities announced Friday afternoon. Chauvin, who was dismissed from the police department this week after the incident, was arrested Friday morning after days of unrest in the city following Floyd's death. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman announced at a press conference Friday that police are in the process of reviewing evidence and Chauvin could face more charges. President Trump on Monday ripped members of presumptive Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden's campaign for donating money to a fund that helps arrested protesters pay bail. The death of George Floyd on the streets of Minneapolis was a grave tragedy. It should never have happened. It has filled Americans all over the country with horror, anger, and grief. Yesterday, I spoke to George's family and expressed the sorrow of our entire nation for their loss. I stand before you as a friend and ally to every American seeking justice and peace. And I stand before you in firm opposition to anyone exploiting this tragedy to loot, rob, attack, and menace. Healing, not hatred, justice, not chaos, are the mission at hand. George Floyd was an indicator that law enforcement agencies nationwide should conduct internal reviews and, quote, come out better than before. Demings, who previously served as the first female chief of the Orlando Police Department, said on NBC's Meet the Press Sunday, quote, I do believe we are long overdue for every law enforcement agency in our nation to review itself, view itself, and come out better than before. His Airlines flight attendant said she started crying after discussing a book about race relations in the U.S. with a passenger on a recent flight who later revealed himself to be American Airlines CEO Doug Parker. The flight attendant, who was black, said she went to work with a heavy heart in light of George Floyd's death and the subsequent protests and noticed a white passenger boarding her first flight of the day holding a book titled White Fragility. Adding to the chaos as nationwide demonstrations enter their second week, the conspiracy theories range from claims that Floyd's arrest was staged to others saying that he is still alive, despite video evidence that the 43-year-old unarmed black man died in police custody while a white police officer knelt on his neck for more than eight minutes. Other unfounded claims say that Floyd's death is part of an international conspiracy to destabilize the U.S., while some allege that the former officer Derek Chauvin, who is charged with third-degree murder, is an actor. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rekah HaKadash. It's all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect, the elect. Also, uh, Shalom to the families that's doing their part sincerity.
I want to go in this video here, okay, with um, oh. Emilia, can you hear us? this guy, uh, Oil cameraman? Um, Hello, what's his name, yeah. George Floyd and, and the uh, Derek Chauvin, I believe is the uh, police, um, who killed um, George Floyd. Now, I've noticed that um, they officially charged him. That's what the indictment means, officially charged. They've charged him with uh, third-degree manslaughter and third-degree uh, uh, murder and manslaughter, something like that. Okay, and when you look at the laws, you know, the judicial system, that's not even... Um, and if you know, and then he has to be convicted of that. So, you know, you got to know something's wrong with that picture. Okay, you got to know something's wrong with that picture to, to have a third degree. Well, you know what everybody knows. You know, and that's what the uproar is about. The problem is our people are doing the same things that they've done from day one. I mean, riots aren't aren't new either, but now it's becoming global. This is what's new, okay? So, this is why I put in the clip, this is the Lord's show. This is what the Lord wants. The Lord wants uh, total chaos, okay? The elites want total chaos. The Lord first, but he set the elites up to want total chaos to give them the trickery to believe in their new world order. This is why they're doing what they're doing for the new world order. Or, order of chaos. They need chaos. They need order out of chaos. Because when systems and uh, well, systems in general break down, okay, they're left open for order. They're left over to be built up. They're left out. Okay. So when something is tore down, uh, you're in a debt of the hands of the people. I mean, of the government to rebuild. Okay. See, the people are protesting not because they want to get out of here, not because um, they they understand who their enemy is. They're protesting because they want justice. They want freedom. But the scripture says, this is not your rest. Malachi says that, I believe. Even to the woman, rise up ye woman at our ease. This is not your rest. Okay? So, I, you know, I don't think nobody's getting that. Okay? Now, Trump said, while standing with NASA signs behind him, uh, it, you know, we all know what that means. See, all this is staring up to the most, the most high sin in his son, the Lord's return, okay? And they've got to fight, okay? So Trump, while standing with the NASA signs in the background, said that death should have never happened. But meanwhile, he tells everybody to be peaceably. So I don't know anybody that is in peace when an unnecessary death happens. Now we can say for the government itself that when the 9-11 happened, we can all say, according to the government, we know it's conspiracy all in that as well. See, they set up situations to have a, a, a relief, okay? But for the, for, the, for the sake of the argument, if the government... If the 9-11 happened, once that happened, there was no peace. Trump was talking about rain and hell on other nations. Okay? On ISIS, which is made up as well, but on all major governments. Okay? On, um, on uh, nations. So, why didn't, they, why didn't they go with justice with that? See, the, the hypocrisy about this place, it was all built on thievery and robbery. Okay, they would never say the Native Americans should have never been, that should have never happened, and it should have never been slaughtered. But what they'll say is, we had men that came here and, and killed them to help build a better life for the world, you know? Anyway, let's go get a scripture real quick. Um, let's go to 1 Samuel 2 and 6. All you got to do is get a few scriptures and bring it home, okay? First Samuel 2 and 6. I mean, you know, you go with the spirit. Uh, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and he maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifteth up. And what is this talking about? Nations. He bring up nations and he bring down nations. Job 30 says the, um, the Idumeans was 
base men. What did he do? He took them and raised them up. Okay? We were great men. And what did he do with us? Took us and brought us down. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low, he lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lift up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes. Okay? So everybody plays their part on the earth when it comes to time and, and, and rulership. And nobody really wants to lose. Nobody wants to lose their rulership. And this is the fight. If we was in rulership, we wouldn't want to lose it, lose it either. But it's the most high show. Okay? To set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. Right? Because the Lord is going to bring the Israelites up. All the Israelites are going to be up at, what, at the end of the show. You know? You know, and it cast and credits. You know, you know, you have the, um, the elect who is going to be beamed up and you know who's going to do some of the dirty work which the elect is doing some of the dirty work now but when the kingdom is set up you know at the end of the movie it shows once the uh, conqueror has won it shows the peaceful onset of the new world or new um, situation well that's what's going to happen okay this is the most high show you know the happily ever after that's that's the elect and the other Israelites that come back. See, it's starting with the elect, then the other Israelites will come and uh, be born into the kingdom and live their happily ever left after life. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces out of the heaven, out of heaven shall he thunder upon them the Lord shall judge the ends of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king okay and, sh and, and exalt the horn of, of his anointed right under the uh, under the house of David he's going to exhort the horn you know he's going to exhort uh, the Israelites through to, to him his son uh, David okay and the Israelites starting with the elect Okay. Um, so this woman, there's a woman I, I'm remembering a clip. I'm just trying to remember. Uh, this woman, former black woman police chief, she says it's long overdue to redo uh, to uh, review the police department. What? <laughs> a long overdue. Where are these people living at? What fantasy are they living in? You know, this proves that all you got to do is throw a couple of shekels, a couple of checks, a couple of money, a little bit of money. And you can just manipulate the people to do whatever the hell you want to do. It's all about the money. Okay? And then you have the conspiracy theory, which we would truly never know all of it. But we do know that the media, the media machine, they play hype in it. You know, but we understand that all it takes is a spark. And then once you see the police was caught setting the, the place on uh, store on fire or whatever, then you got people who follow. All they need is that spark, and then everything raises. See, they, the elites understand that the sheeple who are trained to do what they do is all they do. This is why everybody replays the same role like a reincarnation over and over and over again. But what they need is a spark to take the sheeple and turn them to do something else. This is all they need. It's, a, it's an act. Okay? This is why we say this is the Lord's show. The Lord will stare Jake up and he's going to use the enemies of us to do it. Whether it be propaganda, whether it be staged, the Lord is... The Lord is now starting to smack Jake in the spirit, even on the left hand side. Okay, it's time, you know, it's time for you to break that yoke, and now it's time for you to get busy. Okay? Let's go to Isaiah 47 and 1. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, and sit on the ground. There is no throne. 
daughter of the Chaldeans, okay, which is this man, uh, uh, Adumius, who run this place now, okay. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thighs, pass over the rivers. So the Most High is using us to reveal things. He's even using uh, other heathen to reveal certain things. Okay? So everything is being revealed. The nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. You know, right? Is it, uh, everybody's understanding will soon wake up and figure out voting isn't working. Okay? Um, flagging our videos for telling the truth. But meanwhile, they show videos of this cop with his knee on someone's neck and they only give him a third degree murder charge. A third degree and manslaughter and what this is saying is he didn't purposely do this and you know when you get a manslaughter charge example you get in a fight with somebody and um, they have an aneurysm it wasn't your fault you didn't know any better you were just in a fist fight and you hit them in the head and they die well you get a manslaughter charge because you didn't intentionally pull out a gun and try to kill them but somehow in the minds of these people, they are understanding now that, wait a minute, how is this man getting a manslaughter charge? This was not a killing by accident. This was not a killing by confrontation. This was a, kill a killing by slaughter. And manslaughter should be a first degree charge because that's what this man has done. This is all he's done. This is what he's set up to do, commit manslaughter. But they'll put it, this is how wicked this place is. They'll put it, manslaughter is not that bad. You were just fighting and a guy fell over and he broke his neck. So you get a, no, manslaughter should be a first degree offense. Because you just slaughtered a man, okay? Willingly. But people, the sheeple, what they'll do is they'll march and then the government or the media will control them. And as we see with COVID-19, which got out of control, they've hyped it up so much, they probably expected to go as far as it did, and it did. Then everybody starts getting accustomed to the COVID thing, and it's not a big deal. Some of, some of it's fake. They're saying people who have actual, dying from the actual influenza, they're labeling that as COVID as well. Or if you have pneumonia and die, they're labeling that as, as COVID. People die from regular um, flus. And that's easy to believe. I've had one before, and there you do feel like you're going to die with one of them, okay? So we can see that the secret parts being uncovered, the madness of this place, and this is the most high show. And I think that was the main part of this video that I wanted to make. Um, this is the most high show, and that gives us the faith to understand that what, no matter what happens in our trials, and whatever happens is the Most High show. We have to do suffer as Yahushua did, take up our cross, and follow Him, and uh, not get too distracted. Because even on the left hand side, they're they're bringing extra propaganda, extra conspiracies. Because the elites will capitalize on the conspiracies on the left hand side. He'll say, "Well, you know what? You know, people not wearing masks, and people get sick, and then you have people who have there's other viruses out there." And then people would get more together than they did before a so-called outbreak ever happened. Now you're risking more people get sick, if that's the thing. And this is the whole thing of it all, man. That this guy is, is setting up everything on different levels. And us as Israelites, we're figure, we figured it out a long time ago, okay? We know, all right? We know about the chip, and we know about things that's coming to pass. These people don't know. As I said before, they're fighting and they're looting because they want justice. Anybody who wants justice here is not serious about the Lord. That's all I have on that. Oh, and I'll say that as an Israelite, that's why we need not to be marching down in, in, in different streets. Only as maybe seeing what's going on, you know, or on live, whatever, on location. But we, not, we need not to be marching and setting up camps in the middle of a protest you become just as the heathen do you know 
صاحبون ان شاء الله